Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord once again on this blessed Sabbath day. Amen. They allow us to see this day. And this is the day he made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Uh, he allowed to see the end of work week for some of us. Amen. It, that we wake up and, and just want to come and worship here in the house of the Lord. So yes, yes. we want to open up testimony uh, of those that have something to say, testify, sing a song, or scripture reading. And they we ask you to come forward and, and how God lead, how we we'll do in life. Eh? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We just appreciate the Lord for being here. We appreciate the Lord for, we're going to read the scripture. But know this, saith the Lord, that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name, and thou art mine. Yes. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, thou should not, they should not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou should not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him, created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have ears, and the deaf that have, I mean, the blind that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled whom among them can declare this and show us former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified and let them hear and say it is true. Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have read for you Isaiah 43, first through the 13th verse, Praise 11th God. verse. May God ever add a blessing to the doer, reader, and hears of his word in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen, amen. We thank God for the scripture reading, amen. amen. Ain't none like him, none before him, none after him, amen. Right. Yeah. He, the he's our creator, he's our all in all, amen. Yes. All just contemplating about, you know, what type of God did we really serve, amen, did. Man, he'll bless those that even complain, amen. Think about the children of Israel, how they grumble in the desert, man, in the wilderness, man. And he still provide for them, amen. We thank God that, man, he's like that, amen. And I always think about uh, as well that how, how would I be, amen. Man, somebody complain about the things I'm doing for him, man, but I continue to bless them. But we know we serve an awesome God that whatever we do, he's still going to be God, amen. He's still going to love us so much. So show mercy and be loving kindness. So we thank God for being who he is. Thank God for just having mercy on our soul that's saving us one day. Amen. That we continue to do the things that please pleasing to him. Amen. Amen. Again, we still having our testimonies open. Those that feel led to testify, give a song, praise, report, however things been doing, however things been going in your life, well, uh, God been doing in your life, we actually just come forward and just praise God. Amen. I know. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. I'd like to go on to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, here in my life, Pastor Austin, each and every one that are here. I thank God for being here another day. See another day. For I just seen ears to hear, saints. I thank God for my health and strength. Thank God for saving me one day out of the world of sin. Oh, yeah. Saving me from, from going to hell. Yeah. I on my way to hell, but thank God for Jesus who saved me and filled me with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I thank God for that, saints, because I love the Lord so much. He's been so good to me, saints. He still is. I might not get everything right, but he still loved me. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
So y'all put my strength in the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank God for that testimony. Sister Joan, you've been so good to us all. Amen. Amen. Did we only quite that we really need is to be sinners. Amen. Amen. That's the only question God asked us to, to be saved. So we thank God for saving us that we were fit for, for his use. Amen. That he continue to use it however you want to do and whatever you want to do for us. So we, we, we owe him de- at least that much. Amen. So those that feel led to testify, give a song, well, things been doing in their life. Amen. Amen. We actually just come forward and just give God their honor and praise. Amen. That he deserves. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Praise the Lord. I give honor to the Lord today, the head of my life, and thank and praise the Lord to be back in the house of the Lord. Thank the Lord for his precious Holy Ghost, and I thank the Lord for his prayer. You know that the Lord will have us praying. And I can see that the Lord, he is really moving in our prayer because we need prayer. We need to pray. I mean, you know what's going on in, um, on, on this earth. And it's going to take the Lord. It's going to take the Lord to move. It ain't nothing that we doing, but it's something that the Lord doing. And, and so I just thank the Lord. You know, I thank the Lord for the press of Holy Ghost, how he been keeping me, you know, in prayer. And I ask the Lord to, you know, uh, uh, wake me up and shake me so I can, you know, um, uh, fast and pray and see God. Because I know I need it. And I need to um, uh, bump on to heaven, you know, daily. Because I want to be ready when Jesus comes. I don't want to be lost. I want to be ready. I want to be fixed up. I want everything out of my life. I pray daily. I said, Lord, just, and, and, you know, search my heart. And, and, and you know, if find anything, they'll take it away. Because I don't know nobody that, um, uh, the person that I don't love. I ain't got nothing against nobody. Right. I, I um, search my heart every day and see the, uh, what I said. If I said something wrong to anybody, thought anything wrong, you know, in my heart, I ask the Lord to forgive me. Right. Because it's the little things that matter. You be thinking some wrong stuff, and you know, you might not say it out loud, but, you know, the Lord, you know, he hear all things. He know your mind, your heart. He know everything. And so that's why the Lord said, keep a repentant heart at all times. And, you know, I just wake up in the morning and say, Lord, forgive me. You know, and I thank the Lord. I said, Lord, first I thank the Lord. I said, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. And, you know, let me look around and find everybody all right. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, we got to pray for our grandkids and our loved ones and our sisters and brothers because we got to stand in the gap for them. Because they're not praying, they're not seeking God, because the Lord is a Savior. And I believe, I believe the Word of God. I believe I'm standing on the Word of God. I believe what the Bible says. And you know, we got to stand on the Word of God. This is praying time. And it ain't no fooling around, no nothing. It's just time to pray. And be serious with the Lord. Because the Lord is not playing. And you know, you're going to come up lost. If you don't fast and pray and seek God, you, you know, that we need an answer from the Lord. Yes. And the and only way that's going to take that we're going to have to pray. Yes. Because the Lord, he'll give us an answer. He yes. still is the Lord in, in the old days. He's still God. He's the same God. He walk and he speak with you. He talk with you. He's the same God. He's a God that don't change. And I love the Lord and I want to go to heaven. And, you know, I pray for my grandkids. We have to pray because these kids going back to school. And that virus and stuff is out there. And, you know, we, that's why we have to stay in prayer for our grandkids. Because they don't know no better. They look kids. Right. And, and, and you don't know that they're going to keep that mask on or not. Right. And by we being saints of God, you got to nut your kids. Bleed the blood of Jesus over them. And, and, you know, and believe God just going to watch over them and take care of them. It ain't nothing there we can do but pray. That's all we can do.
pray. Lift Jesus up and bleed God for our grandkids. Thank you, Jesus. Pray my spirit. Amen, amen. Thank God for that testimony. Amen. That's all we really have to do is, is pray. Amen. That some of this ordinance is going back out to put on masks, even get vaccinated. And that uh, uh, once you, you hear certain things in the news and stuff like that, it seems like soon they here they can't take the mask off. They went to doing it and everything then. But now they said, man, put the mask back on, they, they rebellion again. So we ask God to continue to give us wisdom what yeah. we do. Amen. That man, not, we ain't too strong in faith that man, we believe God is going to come down there, save us from any and everything, which he can, amen. That don't mean we test him like that. So we thank God for the wisdom that he give us, amen, that we continue to use it, amen. I was just thinking about, man, of one of my coworkers, uh, some of my coworkers, we were talking about how America is right now. Like, man, you think about the 400 years of slavery we have. Man, it's, it's, it's even more they corrupt then. I mean, now than it was back then. And that's crazy. We were like, man, America just is going down. So we ask God to continue to pray for our nation. Yeah. Pray for our leaders, man, what they continue to do. Right. And give them wisdom, amen. Again, those that feel led to testify, they want to give a song, a praise report, however God been doing, whatever God been doing in their life, amen, amen. We ask you just come forward, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I've been singing to me this song a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm singing to the glory of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't know all of it, but the little bit I do know, I must try to sing it. Yes. Now, how far am I from Cain? The land, Lord, how far am I from Canaan land? Well, well, the bells are ringing and the angels singing in glory, glory. How far am I from Canaan land? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm asking the Lord today, how far am I? How far am I, Lord? Thank you, Jesus. I, I, Lord, I know I'm a long ways off, Lord, but just help me here. Thank you, Jesus. First, give an honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, to my pastor, to all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for being here today. I thank him for being saved today. I thank him for being sanctified. I thank him for the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I thank him for the water baptism in his name. I thank him, hallelujah, for him going to the cross, shedding his blood for you and for me. I thank him. Hallelujah, he was that sacrifice. I thank the Lord for sacrificing his life for ours. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, nobody could do it but Jesus. I just thank the Lord because of who he is. I give him the glory down and the praise for all things, everything he do, everything he do. Hallelujah for me even opening my eyes. Hallelujah for me even being able to walk. Hallelujah to be able to talk. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a blessing to be able to move my arms and hands and, and everything. It's a blessing to think. Hallelujah. Because some people that can't even think. I thank him for a mind that stayed on him. Hallelujah. And he said that he'll keep our mind in perfect peace if it, if it stayed on him. I thank him for the peace that's within. Hallelujah. Because the Lord give you a peace. I thank him for the joy. Hallelujah. I thank him for joy today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. I thank him today. I thank him. Hallelujah. Bless him, Lord. You search me. Search me, Lord. Take everything out of me that's not like you. Hallelujah. And help me to be like you. Help me to be like you. And I keep a repentant heart every day. I'm asking them for forgiveness every minute. I'm saying, Lord, forgive me. You know, because I don't know if I done thought something wrong, because I'm not going to go out there and do nothing with my body, but hallelujah, my mind, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil target our minds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say this right here. You know, I was, uh, had, went and had my oil changed on that van out there. And 
I'm driving the van around because I pray for it every, every time I get in it. And I'm saying, Lord, uh, touch this van. Lord, let it run. Lord, let it take me where I need to go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm running the van. They kept running fun. I was telling Sister Jones, I said, the van sounds funny. Mm -hmm. I said, I've never heard this sound before. But I thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I called my son. I said, Curtis, come up here and check this oil for me. You know, check, check my car. Hallelujah, he checked. He said, uh, Mom, he said, ain't no oil in this van. I said, what? <laughs> he, said, he said, what? No, not a drop of oil. Was in the van. I'm running the van, going, going here, going there. I mean, I've been going to places. I'm trying to take care of my business, you know, in Jesus' name. And didn't have a I was all, oh, but I just had a change. So I began to just say, Lord, but I thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you, Lord, that kept this van from yeah. the motor from locking up because they said that the motor locked up. Yeah. There ain't no oil in it. You know, I just thank him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank him for that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my son said, come here, Mama. Let me show you how to check this oil. And he showed me how to check it. But when I need a check, I still call him and say, come, I either my brother. I thank the Lord. I thank him so much because he's so good to us. And he's so mindful of us. You know, my cousin in Lincoln, Nebraska, hallelujah, uh, uh, she was on my mind. I called her, hallelujah, when she answered the phone. Oh, she was so sick. And she was saying, Reen, I'm weak. I can't, I can't do nothing. Reen, I need to get to the hospital. And, 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 and no one is there in Lincoln, her, uh, Sid is in Omaha, her, her brother. Went away, she called her niece and asked her, would she come and take her to the hospital? She told her that she was real sick. The girl wouldn't even come and take her to the hospital. But she finally made it down the steps and got in her car and she drove herself. When she got there, hallelujah, they ran tests on her and I tell you, she sounded so horrible. And she said that they found an ulcer, a big ulcer in her stomach. But she said that she heard a voice say, it's just a test. And I began to say, Lord, it's just a test. Everything we go through, it's a test. And it's a testimony because the Lord is going to bring us out. He said, men are the affliction of the righteous, but he's going to deliver us out of them all. That's his word, hallelujah. And I said, Lord, this is your word. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. And I'm believing him to deliver. Yeah. And I'm asking him, Lord, increase my faith. Yeah. Increase my faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. To believe you for the impossible. Yeah. Hallelujah. You are pray, master in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God thank for that you, testimony. We expect more a praise report, amen. Yes, I God do, I do. Gonna continue to do what he do. He's still do. God yes, that heals, he still. amen. Yeah. Healing ain't nothing new to him, amen. Oh, he been doing that daily, every day, every minute, every hour. So healing ain't nothing new. So we ask God to continue to heal yeah. in the process of, of all that we expect in that praise report to come back, amen, amen. I, again, we still not testimony for I know it's, it's just a few of us. We actually just come forward and they praise God, amen, amen. How God lead you, amen. Hallelujah. We do appreciate the Lord for being here. Is it on? Yeah. And we appreciate the Lord for the open door. We appreciate God for Jesus. We just thank God for just being who he is and how kind he is. I appreciate the Lord for all the testimonies. It's just letting us know that Jesus is with us. He will never leave us, never forsake us. And he never fails. You know, we don't even, I mean, you couldn't see the oil in your car. You know, but the Lord knew, so mindful of us, so long-suffering with us. You know, I appreciate the Lord so much for my health, my strength, my food, my clothing, my shelter, my transportation, my job, the use of my members, my limbs. And then I began to think about the inside organs. They working properly. I thank the Lord. Can't nobody do it but Jesus. That's our only help. That's our only hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I was thinking about this. And we did hear from Brittany again. We found out that uh, somebody saw in Whitehaven over uh, somebody, by somebody's house that knew uh, duty, you know. So y'all just keep praying for us. So we just appreciate the Lord for all what he's doing. But I was thinking about this on this wise. And I was just praying and I was just thinking about, man, I said, Jesus, when we was born, you already knew us, mm -hmm. you know. And I said, 
we weren't born for sin or pleasures of this life. We was born for you. I said, but in spite of all of that, when we was coming on up, we had pleasures and we had sin. But you didn't cut us off. You still had a plan for us, even though we didn't have the knowledge while we were here. You know, but I appreciate God for Jesus that he's given us an understanding as we grow in him. He's given us an understanding of who he is and how he is more than what we had before. You know, and I appreciate the Lord so much for this word. And like I said, uh, I want to say since I've been over here, I've learned so much about the Holy Ghost, so much about the spirit of the Lord and less about flesh. And I appreciate the Lord for that. It helps us in our daily walk. You know, and I appreciate the Lord so much that in spite of all of what we did or didn't do, he was still with us. You know, some people say, that, well, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, I did, a, uh, I ain't gonna, I, did uh, I did a lot. You know what I'm saying? I did a whole lot of stuff. But seeing that, seeing that Jesus was still for me, he didn't leave me, he didn't forsake me, no matter what people said, no matter what they thought, Jesus still got a plan for us. He still got a plan for the people out there that's listening, for the people out there that's hearing. He still got a plan for them. Yeah. You know, I heard Brother Austin say this some time ago. He said, let God run his own kingdom. Yeah. And it makes so much sense to me because we can't run it. We can't even run ourselves. You know, I appreciate the Lord. I was reading uh, yesterday, too. He said, he give men thoughts. Men don't even give them on their own. See, we just got Jesus. It's just him. I can't nobody pat themselves on the back and say this or that. It's just Jesus, for real, doing this work. And, you know, that's what the uh, uh, men and women of old, they knew that, and they believed it, that it was Jesus. So that's why they can say, take me in the fire. I don't care. It's all right. Cut my head off. It's all right. Because they knew in whom they believed. So we should be, said so those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That's to believe him for everything that he's doing. And, you know, he got everything already planned and mapped out. So I'm trying to follow what he's doing and what he's saying. I'm trying to follow his lead because I, I get off on my own, I'm going to mess up. But I appreciate the Lord for this word. I appreciate the Lord for this place. I appreciate the Lord for the open door. I just appreciate God for Jesus, how he's moving. And even with Brittany, how he let Brittany go by somebody's house, that new duty. Couldn't nobody do it but Jesus. He had a time there and everything, you know. So I'm saying I'm praying and believing that God got a time to bring on in so we can take her where she needs to go. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Amen, amen. We thank God for that testimony, amen. It, I believe it's in Peter where he said, man, he's, he long suffering us so we can't repent. Amen. He don't look at the, uh, uh, to uh, wipe us out. If that was the case, he would did that a long time ago, amen. He said he long suffering just so we can come back to him. So we thank God for having that long suffering with us. Amen, because we know we, we need it, amen. I know some that's just coming in, we ask you, you, you feel led to testify, amen, or sing a song, how will God been doing your life, where will we be doing your life, amen, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, thank God for being here, thank him for making it safely, I just uh, appreciate the Lord for waking me up this morning, and all of you all. I was listening to the service as I was driving. Um, just thank God for each and every testimony that's gone before the Lord. Like Sister Maddie was saying, we need to pray and, you know, and pray for our children, our grandchildren. Listen, Sister Irene, I enjoyed that song. Sister Jones, mother, I just enjoyed it. And Brother uh, James, I appreciate the Lord just listening to how the Lord is just lifting himself up in us, you know, so he can be glorified. I just thank God that he's taken us through our trials. I heard Brother James when he said, uh, we used to think God is uh, taking through our trials to make us and to bring us out. I said, you know, I, I was sitting there, I said, I said, I used to think that God was taking me through to kill me, you know, but didn't know no better, was ignorant. But I thank God, you know, still learning, because, you know, I ain't but 27, but still learning. And, uh, all right, go down there. <laughs> and so still learning that, you know, as you grow in the Lord and you learn and you go through your trials and tribulations, that um, it's going to be some more things to come up to, sh to, to show you what's going on inside of you. And God saying, okay, I just want to show you this so I can help you so you can get a little bit further, you know. And I just thank God that because um, he's showing me me, and I'm just asking him more and more when I get frustrated with myself, when I get frustrated with things that's going on about me, I'm asking him, please help me because 
I really do desire saints to go through the right way. You know, I want to have a I want to have a good spirit about things, and I don't always have that. You know, when I was listening to somebody testifying, I don't know who it was, but I was, you know, I'm texting. I know I shouldn't be texting and driving. Y'all forgive me. But I was texting when she somebody said something. It was like, oh, Sister Maddie was saying that she don't have anything in her heart about nobody. And I said, well, I said something about I ha- it's me. It's I have something inside of me and Jesus please help me you know but and not to throw off on anybody I'm just you know appreciate the Lord that you don't have that because God and gave you to overcome that and I'm just thanking God I'm just thanking God for y'all's testimony because it's helped to make each every one of us because different things you testify about and I testify about what I'm saying you might not had you might not went that direction so I'm saying when you testify I'm saying Lord help me to get there you know when you testifying about how much you love Jesus sister Jones I'm saying God help me to get there help me to totally su- uh, submit myself help me to totally fall in love with you because it's a it's a uh, it's a tedious journey it really is and, and like I said I just want to be made I want to go through with the right spirit you know I don't have the right spirit all the time but I'm asking God to help me but one thing I, I can say even when I confess my faults you know to the Lord and just amongst you know God's people um, I'm learning not to feel bad about it no more you know because God told me he said confess your faults one to another and I'm confessing it to him I might share it with someone else and confessing my faults but I'm still confessing them because I want the Lord to know he already know what's in deal but I'm still wanting him to know, Jesus, I recognize it too. And I want you to help me. And I do want help. Um, I was thinking about this song as I was coming. Um, it was two of them. Jesus is my everything. Jesus is my all. Jesus is my everything. Both great and small Jesus gave his life for me and made everything new Jesus is my everything and how how about you Jesus gave his life for me Jesus is my all Jesus is my everything, both great and small. Jesus gave his life for me and made everything new. Jesus is my everything, and how, how about you? Jesus is my everything, Jesus is my all, Jesus is Hallelujah. my everything, oh Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Jesus Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is our everything. He's our all in all. Amen. All the power, everything, every authority that we have on earth because of who Jesus is. He said, man, all that have been given to him. So he said, man, give us the power to do the things that call us to do. So we thank God for being our all in all, our everything, the things that we struggle with. Father, he, he allows us to overcome those things, things that we continue to have deliverers in, Lord God. He, He's going to see us through. That's one thing I love about my, my Lord and Savior, that he's, gonna, he's not going to drop off because we made a mistake. Amen. He going to say you, he, you wasn't fit from the beginning, so let me go and leave you right here and let me finish on my own. So I thank God for being who he is in yes, our life. He yes. continues to be who he is in our life. Right now, we just want to uh, close up and serve as a testimony serve. We thank God for every testimony, every son that went forth. Right now, we're just going to turn it over to the pastor and have God lead him, let him lead him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stand to your feet.
late there, Brother Clint? Did this come from you? Did this come from you? All right. May the Lord just drop up here. That's it. <laughs> Hold the Father, thank you. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you for the mind you've given us to be his. Some people don't know how blessed we are to be here, to have a mind to. A lot of people that forgot you, they forsook you. They're going about their daily activity and journey, God, not including you in it at all. Huh? Lord, you know we're praying every day and asking you to stir people, wake them up. Lord, when we stand before you, you say, give an account of your time on the earth, the time now we've given you, give an account. Lord, so many people sadly say it's going to be all about them. Never took time out to give you no time, serve you, then honor you. It's all been about them. God, it's going to be sad, but God, thank you for giving us a mind to, to be blessed today to be here, to be rejoicing. Even if you give us opportunity, God, we don't have to be here today. You can let us, we could have been going on. But Lord, thank you for giving us a mind to assemble here today, Lord, to honor you, to give you honor and to respect you. And acknowledge you. And I thank you for that, Jesus. Move for our loved ones, our sons and daughters and our grandchildren, our relatives and things, our in-laws. God, stir them. Yes. Father, stir them, God. Yes. You told us once the master had risen up and shut that door. We began to stand out and knock. Lord, you, it's going to be too late then, God, I pray. Yes. Do something for God, you. Do something for your peoples all over. Help us to acknowledge you, Jesus. Help us to give us something, God, I pray. Don't just let us just run loose, Lord, and run wild. And don't know, God, we, Lord, we say they, people are like that old hog under the tree eating acorns. Never stop to look up and see where they're coming from. He's just eating them off the ground. No, don't let us just receive your blessing. Never look up to tell you thank you, to acknowledge you. Just go on, drive our car, work our job, make good money and have good food and clothing. Never tell you thank you. Never stop to give you thanks, Lord. It's the ten lepers that got you clean ten of them. And after they went, they was cleansed. And then when one saw he was clean, he stopped and turned around, came back and fell at your feet and worshipped you, gave you thanks for it. The other went on. God, but this one, he even made whole. You told him to, where are the nine? He said, but thou art made whole. Now, God, he was made whole from everything, not just leprosy, but everything. You made him whole. Father, let us, Jesus, I pray, God, that we don't have company. Let our mind be guarded with this attitude, God, that we're going to give you praises and we're going to give you thanks. And, God, if we have to go alone, if, let it be so, Lord. Thank you today. Lord, heal the sick that be among a move for my, my brothers and sisters. God, in you, I pray. In the name of Jesus, heal them. Move. Go in the hospital. Move for Sister Cordia. Lord, Sister Pam and Sister Penny. God, others, Lord, I pray. Move a chick friend. God, they, Lord, they call on me to pray for them. God, I, I thank you, Jesus, for being God. Lord, let us find the faith with you. God, that you answer his prayers. It's, it's not about no individual. It's about us finding faith with you. That, God, Lord, if you don't answer prayer, it ain't going to get done no way. I don't care who pray, how much they pray, and how long. If you don't do it, it ain't going to get done. It just ain't, and I realize that, God. And I, I pray, let us find favor with you, that you will hear our prayer, that you will answer. Mighty God, thank you, Lord, for putting the right mind and the right spirit, God. I, Deliver the bound. Get a bound. Deliver those that hung up off drugs and alcohol and nicotine and just worldly part and sinful stuff, God. Give them victory. In the name of Jesus, God, I love one, Lord. I know some of them out there, they're just really enjoying themselves in the place of this old life. Somewhere touch them, Jesus. You say, you didn't come to destroy them in life. You come to save them. And Father, I'm asking you for mercy today. You said, blessed are the merciful, but they should obtain mercy. And I pray, God, your mercy today, that you will help them, God, that you would 
somewhere it got you helped us. We was in that same, we walked that same old path. We lived in the sinful pleasure. But God, you had mercy and came to us. And thanks for giving us an ear to hear you. And give us a spirit to, to submit ourselves unto you. I thank you for today, Jesus. Speak to our hearts today. Give us utterance to speak to you. Give me the hearts and minds of those that will be listening and those that are here. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Praise God. Give me a hand and pray. We appreciate the Lord today. I tell you, it's such a blessing. It might be your time. Is your time? Okay, all right. I thought. Thanks, your Father. I close them out to Cana Land. You know? How close are we? Well, that bad. No, don't no man know for sure. We may feel like it, may think that we are that, but you don't know for sure. You know, we gotta we believe people go to heaven, but we don't know because we ain't up there and we don't know where they're at. But we believe that they're, you know, called the life that we saw them live, we believe they're there. You know. I thank God for it's such a blessing today to be here, so John. And some people may not look at this. You know, we're blessed today. Look, I tell you, y'all keep wearing your mask. Because this old virus out there, and they say this thing is, is, is going to get worse just because of, it's spreading. So then we don't get, let God give us a good wisdom. I have minds on, and wherever I go, I don't preach in it, but, but I encourage you to keep it. And, and, uh, I heard this preacher, they had him on new last night. Some white preacher up in Tennessee, some parts of Tennessee. Anybody come? Oh, he was ramping and raving on the thing that anybody come in church with a man, he would put him out. He go, I said, man, this is fate misplaced. You know? It ain't got nothing to do with Jesus living in you. You know, he said, he's going to put him out. I said, man, how can you put people out of your church? Because they won't wear a mask. That, that ain't the spirit of God right there. You know? That ain't God's spirit. Man, if people want to wear the man, let them wear it. You, know, you can't force them to, to, to not to. I said, but you're caught up in yourself. You're caught up in you think you're right. You want to have it your way. And that's what a lot of people do. They think they're right and they're caught up in their own way and they, they want to force it. But look at that God. The Bible says, who said we'll let him come? You know? Throw people how you, how you, you don't have the thought to throw people out of your church. If they, you know, things starting confusing and fighting and, and stuff like that, but just a matter of, of what they believe in, you ain't got the authority. God didn't give you the authority to do that, you know. I know. I thought, I Lord, if it may be, Brother James back in the morning, he said, "This guy, some of y'all may have heard him. I don't know who I think it was a, I don't know if it was a preacher, just somebody that really didn't believe in that. Met around, got got that aid, got that uh, virus. And I guess they had it on the news somewhere." He called his family in there, called all his family in there. Told him, look, this ain't no joke. And he was in the hospital, you know, had that, that, that thing on him. And uh, he said, this is no joke. Y'all wear them mad. Y'all do. Sometimes God had to do people like that to let them know. This ain't got nothing to do with your faith. You have in Jesus, you believe him, you know. But uh, sometimes God, that's Lord, that guy needs to get it. Maybe he'll change his tune, you know. You believe God, you believe God. You, you don't have to get up and, you know. and I thank God for giving us some kind of a the Bible says we can't do nothing without him anyway. He's the source. I thank God for the masses. I thank God for the vaccine that he given. I thank God for everything that they have man has got up to help us. But I know Jesus is the source. Nothing works without Jesus. Okay, what it is, you got to give him, you got to acknowledge him. Because yeah. ain't nothing working. If God got to okay this stuff, you know. Yeah. If he don't okay, it ain't going to work. Amen. And you give God, just Lord, thank you for, you know, we thank you for making the automobile. We don't have to try to jog down the church. We can get in the car and ride. We thank God for it, you know. He has to make faith, man. We just take wings, fly to church, and fly to the grocery store, and all that stuff. But God, we jump in our cars. Those yeah, sister. But He's the source. Yeah, yeah. God uses men. Yeah. God has given men 
knowledge and ability, stuff like that, to do stuff and yeah. help us. Yeah. God, see, he come to destroy life. God, did, man, he come, he put, gave men the wisdom and knowledge and stuff to help his peoples out. Yeah. 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 So for to help us. Man, they, they make these headaches, powders and stuff. They ain't destroy. They just try to help folks to cool that, ease that headache that they're having. And it ain't destroying them. God ain't against that. Man, Luke was a doctor. Followed Jesus around Luke. He was a doctor. You know, they had him back then. But did Jesus say that they that sick what? Need a physician. If you're whole, you don't need no physician. I mean, if you're sick, you need a physician. I, I understand what you say. You try to get that leg in order for your move. You got to, you got to plan your move for you. <laughs> Man, I understand what you're talking about. Something may not, but, you know. But, Dave's have a young now, I'm old. Now we get old, but Jesus have look, Jesus have brought us to where we at today. Yeah. We couldn't get this age since there since she's 27. She, uh, we couldn't get we couldn't get where we at, Sister Jonah that hadn't been for Jesus. He's the one who have rebuked this divine. He said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know I'm He. I encourage people to put all your trust. I don't care if you have to use a headache pill or whatever you have to use. You put your trust in Jesus. Paul said, I water, Paul planted, I water, vice versa. But God gave the increase. God gave the increase. Sometimes we put our faith in the wrong place and we don't know how to, you know. God, this stuff, a lot of stuff that God gave me in the knowledge and the ability to do is to help us. It's to help his, help his people. You know? And that's Lord, I thank you for it. Yeah. You know. So I encourage you just cleave, hold on to Jesus, cleave to Jesus. Yeah. You know, be thankful. Yeah. Always be thankful. I tell you, I'm thankful to be here today. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't, ain't nothing sad about me. I ain't grieved about nothing. I ain't, you know? I'm not grievous. Ain't nothing. The Bible says his commandments ain't grievous. I'm not grievous. I'm not hating. I'm here. I'm not griping, James, complaining about it because I got to be here because I don't have to be here. God can let me stay there in that bed. Could put me down in one of them cemeteries. So you didn't have to be here. You better be glad you're here. You know? He could easily put you down there in one of the more graveyards. Yes. Yes. Sister Joan. Yes. Yes. Never be griping and mad because God have. I'm glad to be here today. I don't care if I'm yes. one. I'm glad to be here. I thank yes. God. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know how you pray. Yes. You, you know what you be asking God for. Yes. You be thankful. Listen from the book of Revelation. I appreciate everybody. Thank you, Father. We're going to go from the book of Revelation now. Chapter 2. Verse 24. Be praying for everybody that's... Uh, thank you, Father. Revelation chapter 2, I want to have you pray for somebody. I don't know if they want me to mention it or not, but so I just, just keep them up and pray anyway. Sister Tripper told me to tell you, praise the Lord. And she's praying for you. And I'll keep her in prayer. You know. But that ain't what I want you to say. Revelation chapter 2.
and uh, verses 24. But unto you, I say, and unto the rest, and how you pronounce the word, Tatiria? Anyway, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none of the burden. But that which ye have already, do what to it? That that you have already, he said, hold fast. You know, he was telling this church here, the people that, you know, Jezebel, and they submitted themselves to that prophet Jezebel. And, but he went on telling me, he said, that that you have already, hold fast until I come. Let me tell you, we got to hold fast that that we have already. So the Joe may not be as much as somebody else's, but that that you have already, Jesus said, hold fast to that that you have already. And I'll be reading over in three there, but he said, hold that no man takes a crown. But no. yeah, yeah. That that you have already. Mm-hmm. Brother Clan, we try to encourage people, that that you have already, hold fast to that. Yeah. Don't let go. Don't give up on that. Yeah. Amen. Because it don't measure up to somebody else. And some people make you feel bad. Some people make you think you ain't got nothing. Make you think you need to just give up because there ain't no measure of what they got. But Jesus telling her here, that that you have already, hold fast to it until I come. Get a good hold on it. Cleave to it. If before Jesus is there, we stand and fall. Not before nobody else. They may see you so sight like, but there ain't enough you got there. You, look, you, you can't pay no attention to that. Them same people got to stand before the Almighty God just like everybody else. So that, that you have already. And I can't sit and judge what you got or what you ain't got. That ain't my job. God didn't call me for that. Jesus, whatever you got already, hold fast until I come. It may be enough for you. May be enough for me. Just hold fast to that. Encourage us. Oh, yeah. so, I can't say how much you how you love God. You know, she's she loves God a little bit. She don't love him like I do, but she no, oh, I can't say that. A lot of times people think no, they don't you don't love God like I do, man. I, that's a deep love in my heart. But it may not be pure. There may be a little love in their heart, but it may be a pure love. May really love God from there. And sister, it may be a real, a pure love. Yeah. Jesus, said you hold, hold on to that yeah. that you already got until I come. Hold fast until I come. Yeah. And Brother Clay, we're trying to get people to hold fast to they got because we don't know what the measure of that that they have. Only Jesus knows that. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, you hold fast to it. Yes, Thank you. Sister Matt, there may be People up there maybe seem to be think they're greater than you are. And yeah. Don't you worry about that. They may think you ain't got much. But that you have already, hold fast to that. Yeah. Know what you got. Know you got Jesus. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but let it be pure. Yeah. The God ain't got much, but this, I love you. I'm trying to love it all my heart. It's trying to be a pure love. Hold on to that. If we, if we don't acknowledge it, don't recognize it, you hold on to it. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. So, John? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Somebody look at Sister John and think, well, she ain't got much. You let them think on. Yeah. Yeah. You hold fast that you got already. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't never that devil trying to make you let that go. I tell you one thing, that devil knows what you got. Yeah. He's trying to get you to give up on that, trying to get you to let that go, James. Thank God, he know that that you got. Thank God, the Bible says, "Have faith." What? Al. Some people say size, but he never said the size of it. He said, "As a grain of mustard seed." Because that mustard seed, it'll since the size, it'll grow. You can put it under a stone; it'll run into it, find a crack, and it'll shoot up. You know, not as size, but as. 
And I'm trying to hold on to that that I got until Jesus comes. I pray God sustain me, help me. All that I need, extra, give it to me. You feel me, you help me. So it's like, I'm not giving up that I got. It, it may, man, some people may look at it and say, ain't with you, ain't got that. I don't care what they say. I once was bound, I ain't bound no more. I once run the streets, I don't run the streets no more. I once did a whole lot of stuff, thank God. I don't do it no more. God have delivered me and helped me. I'm going to hold on to that that I have until Jesus come if he will help me. Bible so we're not to measure ourselves among ourselves. No way. So not wise. Not to be wise and measure ourselves among ourselves or by ourselves. It ain't but one example. That's Jesus. He tell us to be an example, but Paul also is told what? Follow me what? As I what? Follow Christ. As I be what? As I be in him. As I live like he lived. Follow me. Otherwise, don't follow me. Follow me as I follow Christ. Oh, I don't. My Lord getting us ready for that great day. Eh? So Joe, he's getting us ready. He's preparing us. He's working on us. Jamie getting the inside of us. And then all this old, all, all this old work stuff. And it's get, he's getting our heart ready. He's getting us with the right kind of mind. Getting us prepared to meet him. And that's what we're going to need, Sister John. Jesus ain't in all these miracles. He can do them without us. He don't need us to lay hands on nobody. He can just speak the word. You know? He don't, he don't need us to go to the graveside or go to the hospital. God just send the word there. Just leave us completely out of it. He's trying to get us. He said, hold fast. That which you have already. Hold fast till I come. Yeah, come Little clam, that that you have already, hold fast to it. Yeah. That that you got, hold fast. Ain't nobody will judge but God. Yeah. And that that you have, you hold fast. I make no difference what people say. Well, you know, brother clam, listen, that that you got already, hold, cleave to that. Cleave to it. It ain't for me to say what you ain't got or what you got. It ain't for nobody else to say that. No, so John, people don't know what's in your heart. People don't know what desire down there. They don't know what your will is. They don't know what your hunger is. But that which you have already, hold fast to it. That's got to help me to hold fast to that that I got already. Oh, you compare me to a lot of the men. I ain't nothing. But that's all right. In the eyes of Jesus, he thought enough of me to save me, to clean me, to pull me out. Just like he gave me something to keep me. Yeah, that may have been some hiccups along the way, some stumbling along the way, but that's all right. He ain't never forsook me. Because he told us he wouldn't. He said, I will never leave you and I won't forsake you. And he says, worry, it ain't coming back to him, boy. He get that go out, it ain't coming back, it ain't returning. James? The word that God sent out, it ain't come back to him, boy. God's going to see to it. Yeah. Jeremiah said he'll watch over his word to perform it, to make it good. He'll make it happen where it'll come to pass. Yeah. So it's like we may have faults and may stumble here and get weak here, but God said, I'll watch over my word. I have chosen you, John said, and ordained you that you should get God this. I don't care what you were, what you are. I've chosen you. And I'm going to watch over what I, what I said about you. I'm going to watch over it to make it good. Thank God if I had to forgive you for all your sins. Thank God if I had to wash you every day. Thank God I said, I'm going to watch over my word. It's one thing about if he had to forgive you every day. He said, I'm going to watch over my word. To perform it, to make it good. Because God ain't no man that he's alive. Sometimes we'll 
sinning in unbelief because we're trying, trying to be there and trying to look. Maybe it's just some, you're walking in the flesh. Amen. Yes, yes. All the Bibles and all the Bibles that falls the door, we in the flesh. What we don't walk, walk after it. Yes. We are walking in the flesh, but we are not walking out the flesh the desire. But we are in the flesh, and that flesh is going to act up. That flesh is going to do everything it can to make us stumble, to make us fall. We got to trust Jesus, Jesus. Brother Clarence, as long as it's in his own flesh, you, you, unless somebody slap you side of the head, you're going to feel it. That flesh is going to feel it. Now, the spirit don't feel it. The spirit don't know what's going on. But if somebody hit you in your nose, I bet that flesh is going to know it's. <laughs> and that's what we're in, Sister Joan. You know? If you think you're walking in the spirit, let somebody pop you in your nose. The spirit had to stand up real quick because the flesh is going to stand up for itself. It's going to speak. He's going to make it plain. <laughs> you know. That you have already. But now I don't want you to let go of what you got already. Hold on to it. So, John, hold on to that that you got. I know a lot of people won't preach stuff like that, won't say stuff like that. But they think we ain't got nothing. We don't know what people got. The figure ain't got nothing. I'm going to tell you to hold on to that that you got. Until I come. You know? I'm, I'm telling you, whatever you got. You got to have something in the streets. You, you, we still, Sister matter. we still striving, trying to hold on to Jesus. We still trying to confess his name. Still trying to believe we, that's, we got hold of something. Don't give up on that. Listen, Hebrews 4. Verse 14, I think 14 through 16. Man, don't you love him? Thank God he's a merciful God. Thank God he's a long-suffering God. But that's the kind of God we serve, Brother Clint. I know people make, make, make him look like he's something else. But let me say, he's a merciful, long-suffering God. He said, I didn't come to destroy you. I come to save you. I come to help you. He didn't come with a big old billy club. No sooner you didn't allow you to, so also allow you to did a doubt. Thank you, Jesus. But he's long suffering. The Bible said long suffering leads to what? Repentance. So it's about him being long suffering that leads to repentance. That's what the scripture says. And I thank God for it. Hebrews 4, verses 14. Sin then. That we have a great high priest that has passed into the heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, let us what? Hold fast our profession. We got a high priest that has passed into the heaven. The Bible says what? We got a what? A high priest. A great high priest. Let me know. You know, the high priest would go into where? The holiest of the holiest. And do the service there for our sin. You know, the, the priest went into the first tabernacle, the first sanctuary, but the, the high priest went, in, went into the holes of the holy and, and, you know, and made connection to God for us. Jesus saying, the Bible saying here, we got a great high priest. That the path, man, hold fast that you have already. We got a great high priest that the pass into the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God. So today he had already been up there before God for us. To be that atonement for us. Yes, yes. Sister, 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 I mean, you got somebody that already been up there and man and man and made an uh, agreement with the father. Thank God for you. He said, so look, why would you give up? Hold fast that you have already. You got somebody that already been up there before God for you in your behalf. Why throw away that? Why throw that away, sister, man, that Jesus already been up there and done for you? Listen. Seeing them have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Oh, do you hear that? 
but was all print tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore do what? Come boldly into the throne of grace. You ain't got to come in a shame. Come boldly to, in faith. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time. This is a day that we living in now. We need to obtain mercy. All this old vibes going out here. I know people trying to put, make light of this. This vibes ain't no, ain't, this, this ain't no joke. He said, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy, Sister Dale, and find grace to help. We are in a time of need right now. We need to find grace to help. We need to obtain mercy from God. Because we are living it out right now. Thank God you go out there, you'll never know if you're coming back. You'll never know what's going to happen out there. Hold fast that you have already. We got a great high priest. Hold fast to Sister because you got a great high priest and pass into heaven. You ain't fighting that thing by yourself. You're not walking this journey by yourself. You got somebody fighting for you. Somebody that went up before God for you. And that that we have, Sister Dale, Jesus gave it to us. And such a whole fast to it. And the devil didn't give you nothing. We had a hard time. <laughs> oh, we fighting your mind, yeah. fighting your body. Yeah. Since I never hear him, made you had to get your get your leg in order for you. <laughs> that devil, thank God, you said, let me get this leg straight up. That's that devil hanging around there. He always hang around. He's been hanging around my house. <laughs> but that's all right. You know, I'm gonna hold fast. That by his stripes I'm here. Thank God. I'm gonna hold fast. Thank God. He said, Man, I am come down to deliver you. I am your way, your truth, and your life. Thank God. I'm gonna hold fast. The debt that I have already, I'm not finna give up on that. The devil fight your body. Don't throw out by a stripe you heal out the window. You come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help. So it's a sight we need grace to help us. These are needful times that we're in. The Bible said that in Peter that the devil is going out to roar and allow what? Seeking who is We need man help that God don't let this devil get a hold of our mind. Help us in a time of need. Time of need. I don't know about you, but I'm praying God keep that devil. The Bible said, "What that man there? I believe twelve. Somebody he said, listen here, man. When it wants the unclean spirit, what? Going out of an individual, what it do? Walking through dry places, seeking rest. He can't find nothing. He said, I know I do. I go back where I come from, and he, when he get there, he find that house what swept and guns and other way. He find that house, James, unoccupied, ready for somebody to live there. It's swept. Garnish, clean, empty, though, unoccupied. He said, right, man, this house needs somebody in it. So I think I'll go back in there. Thank God an occupied house. But thank God we need help today that God will keep that devil away from our mind. Don't let the devil come back in there. The thing that we used to do and the way we used to think that God will be offensive about it. God, we need help in this time. We're in a time where that devil is going as a roaring lion and me, and he's going with all this temptation and trying to entice people and We'll lie him here, get away our mind, and run our mind way back 40 years ago. Show you what a good time you used to have, how popular you was, how famous you was, and man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get away that mind, try to make you. God, he can't make my mind go back to how popular I was because I was never popular. 
He may take my mind back at something there, but not being popular. <laughs> Some of y'all were popular and, and all that stuff, but I never were. You know. And he knew my brothers and things, but me, man, they could hardly remember me. I said, I said, I'm there. I'm there too. I'm there, y'all. <laughs> we don't remember you. <laughs> I'm trying to make them remember me. I'm there. Look, I'm on. <laughs> so I wasn't popular. Did it ever take your mind back? May not be in a dry stage, a dry spell or something like that. You try to take your mind. May not be going through some fighting this devil. Look like you can't get spiritual mind enough. Look like that. And the devil bring your mind back. Take your mind back there where you used to be this and you used to do that and all this stuff. And trying to give you a little his peace. Trying to give you a little his comfort. But that ain't the kind of comfort you want. Oh, don't you love him? Listen. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. God said, come boldly to Paul here. Come boldly to this throne of grace. Come boldly. That we may obtain mercy. Brother Clem, we got to have mercy. And I was praying, I said, God, I, 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 I believe in mercy. I believe in mercy. I believe in people living right, but I believe in mercy. We got to have it. The Bible says it ain't about work. Let's end the man what? It's going to be the mercy of God. The Bible says it ain't him that will it or him that run it. I think it was in Romans something in 9 or something. But, the, but of God that showed mercy. So Sister John, it ain't him that will it or him that run it. But it's God that shows mercy. God make them, I don't care how fast you run, you can't run fast enough for God. You know? I don't care how much you run you do. You can't do enough for God. He said, it ain't him that will it. What you want to do, or him that run it. But of God that shows mercy. If we can get God to show mercy upon us, help us. Hold fast to that you already have. Yeah. And ask God to give you more. That song said before I take it back, yeah, I add more to it. Add more to it. Listen, this is what First John said. First John 2. I got a couple more scriptures. We're going to. But I, man, don't you appreciate the Lord? I tell you. Thank you, Father. First John 2, verses 1 and 2. Listen. My little children, these things write I unto you, that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have what? An advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. You hear what he's saying there? I would that you sin not, but if you sin, Sister, Sister, Sister Irene, you got an advocate. Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he's the propitiationer for our sin, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the world. So he said, hold fast to that little that you have already, because you got an advocate here. I don't want you to sin, but just in case you do sin, you got an advocate with the Father. Hold fast to that little that you already have until I come, because you got an advocate up there. That's helping you, Sister Matter. Thank God we, look, the all have sin and came short of God's glory. You know? Hold fast. That little that you have until Jesus until I come. Sister Irene, you got somebody up there that forgive your sin, that throw them in the sea of forgiveness and don't remember them more? Hold fast. If you commit any kind of sin, you got somebody. Go, you got an advocate. And all we got to do is confess it. I mean, he had already been before the Father for us. He had already got us in his blood. All we got to do is confess that thing. The Bible with the mouth confession is made. Confess it, Lord, forgive me and help me. It's already for Jesus. Oh, look, you got an advocate. I don't want you to sin, but just in case you do. So 
Somebody would tell me this preacher ain't called no name. He said, he said, I believe what he said, if you smoke, if you ever start smoking, you, ain't, you were never saved. You're never converted. So if, you, if you're uh, drinking, you were never converted. That's I don't believe that. The Bible says I'm married to who? The turn unto me, he said what? How can you turn unto somebody you ain't never been back? Don't tell me the devil won't hit The devil hit people. The devil dig a, a, a set a trap for people, dig ditches for people. Think God Peter been saved, been converted. And the devil set up a snare for them. You say you ain't never been converted? The devil can hit you. Temptation can hit you. Somebody try a test and hit you. I said, Lord, I just don't agree with that, that you ain't never been converted. Well, and the prodigal son went out and wasted everything he had, but he came back, didn't he? He said, man, I'm going back to my father's house. When I didn't waste, he wasn't a play with God, but when I didn't waste everything he had, but God accepted him back. I pray God never let me get back to smoking or drinking and all that kind of stuff. Let me, if I do, I got an advocate. But I got, all I do, I'm right here where I, where I left Jesus. Jesus never left me, but the place I left him, he's still right there waiting on me to come back and say, God, I'm sorry, forgive me. Restore to us. You know. What do you tell us then, Joe? I'm going to restore unto you. I can't even restore something you never had. I'm restoring to you the years that the locals have eaten. I don't tell people to go out there and start smoking and drinking and gambling. You know, that, that's the saints. Pet sin. They're drinking, smoking, and yeah, drinking, smoking, lying, and, and committing the fornication of the dud. That, that's the saints. Pets pee there. You know that? But the Bible says the little foxes. It's the little foxes tonight. The little no harm thing. That spoil the vine. Sometimes we keep a guys up on this big stuff we call. And all the time, my little foxes, a little bit of hate. A little bit of judging you. A little bit of fault finding. So this is what spoils the vine. Well, we try to protect ourselves from all this stuff. But these little things. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said we got an advocate. My brother, I don't want you to see him, but just in case you do, you got an advocate with the Father. Yeah. Sister, Sister Joan, we got to have that advocate. Yeah. He's that permanent. Yeah. He's there forever. Yeah. That's what one of the words mean. I believe Propertine, he's there forever. One of them. He's there continuously. Yeah. We got to have him there all the time. Yeah. Thank God, because we can sin any, any, any time. We can commit some kind of a sin, not willingly, not yeah. even not knowing it. Yeah. But when we ask Jesus to forgive us and help us all our sin, we get up every day and say, God, forgive me for all my sin. That's include them sin that you don't know you committed. Yeah. 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 That includes that. I'm saying, sister Irene, that you don't even know you committed. You thought you were doing pretty good, but thank God you were committing some kind of sin. When we ask God to forgive us for all our sin, that take care of all of that. He's there permanently. He's there. We're going to make it in through Jesus. Ask there another name under heaven given among men, and I believe it. I, but whatever broken in us, Brother Clarence, he can fix it. We can't fix nothing. You know? Jesus got to do this. You know? Listen. Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 6. I'm going to read one more scripture out there and I'm going to let you go. But listen. That little that you have. That little that you have. Hold fair to until I come. Hold fast to it. Ask God to give you more. 
If you feel like it ain't enough, then ask God. The Bible says, in I John, that listen, if, uh, if, if your heart condemn you, then God what? Greater than our hearts. If you're still in your heart condemning, man, I, just, I need to stop the work. If you can condemn yourself, then God is greater than your heart. You know? Listen. Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 6. Listen. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. That's what he did when he went through the land healing the people. Boy, they agree. Had that sickness, heal the people. Lighten the load off of them. Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our people was upon him. And with his strife we are here. Listen. All we, what? Like sheep have gone astray. And what happened? And what happened? The naked of us all. Got an advocate. Jesus, God has laid our naked upon Jesus. And, and Jesus said here, that little bit that you had, hold on to that time I come, thank God. Ah, man, it, it, man, he, he a boy agrees and can't out sorrow. So we like sheep going astray and turned every man to his own way. And the Lord had laid upon him the iniquity of us all. All our iniquity has been laid upon Jesus. Sister Matt, don't ever let nobody turn you from Jesus. I don't care how much they talk about you and call you this and you're a Jesus freak and all. I don't care. All our iniquity, God had laid them upon Jesus. Every one of them, every bit of them. I've chosen you and you ain't chosen me and I've ordained you. That's got all that I need you add to it. You give it to me. One thing about it, God, help me not to deny you. Jesus, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you should know that I am He. I am He. And if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw men unto me. A little bit that you have, says John. Hold fair to until Jesus come. Don't let it go. Don't throw away. I, I preached it one Sunday, been seven years ago, probably. I just because your car knows five hundred dollars, you ain't got before fifty. Don't go start spending on that four fifty because you're fifty dollars short. Oh, man, I'm never gonna spend on this. I ain't got my car no no way. And my grandson Charlie back there, he's a man. He had the surgery. He's a granddaddy. <laughs> He said, you talk about me because I didn't have all mine. I would just spend spending on <laughs> He said, well, I ain't got it all the way. So he started spending on that that he had. The Bible said, whole fad that you got. A little bit you had, whole fad. You don't know why God may move some kind of way. You know? Whole fad that little that you have, folks. I'm trying to encourage you to cleave to him. Sister John, we may not be the greatest, may not be the best. Man, we may not be the best church and all that stuff. That, that you got, hold fast to that. Yeah. Get your hands on Jesus, hold fast to it. Get your good grip on Jesus and have him in your heart. Listen to this, Revelation, this last scripture. Revelation 3. Seven three eleven. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right. These things says he that is holy, he that is true. He that has the key, the key of David. He that opened it and no, you hear this? He that opened it and can't nobody shut it. And he that sh shut it and no man. Don't you want to be in somebody's hands like that? I don't care how much they pray against you. I don't care how much they talk against you. I don't care what kind of this they did for you. They can't be against you. Jesus opened a door for you. That door is open. And can't nobody shut that door. And once he shut a door upon you, can't nobody open. They can speak well of you and all this kind of stuff, but they just can't open that door. Man, I want to be in the hands of somebody like that, don't you? I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. 
and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not what? Denied my name. Thou hast a little strength. Oh, but look what Jesus is telling them right here, sister Irene. He has a little strength, but you ain't denied my name. You kept my word and you had not denied my name. Even though, Jane, you may have a little bit of strength, but thank God you held to that little bit that you had. And it helped you to not deny his name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have what? Love you. All the thing that they worked up against you, the, the, the final night is going to be, man, Jesus loved them people. Man, I've done all this stuff, man, still can't. Man, you're going to know that I have loved thee. Listen, because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Listen, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast with thy hand, what? That no man take your crown. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He said, I open the door for it, no man can shut it. He said, Behold, I'm coming quickly. And that that you have, hold fast. Hold fast. Hold fast. That no man take your crown. Sometimes we sometimes we'll we be a estimate what people got, what they ain't got. We deem what they got is good enough or ain't good enough. Jesus said, I hold that that you got. Thank God. Yeah. Hold faster that nobody take your crown from you. Thank God. Yeah. Sister, man, Lord brought me all of the alcohol and all of the worldliness. And I'm going to hold fast to that. I may not have what somebody else have, but I'm going to hold fast. Somebody said, Brother, you ain't got what Brother Salton got. I said, Brother Ingram ain't got what Brother Salton got. That's all right. I'm a whole fan that that God give me. That no man to take my crown from me. So it's like we got a crown. That let the Bible see death to every man. What that major faith? He may not want you to have a whole truck load. He may just want you to have a little wheelbarrow full. But you hold fast to that. That you have. You know. And sister, sister, I mean, we may not be hungry for it. I was saying, I said, I saw, they, sister sent me a, some pictures of Brother Taylor and Brother Greg, and man, they, and one of them, he was crying, you know, they did a video, but he told me, don't do no video, just picture, but anyway, he was crying. I felt really sad. I felt, man, he was crying, you know, Brother Taylor was, and sitting there looking at us, says, oh, Lord, you know, man, I felt that, you know, and uh, I did some pictures and some writing stuff by him, you know, but he went on to say he was crying because of, he remembered the work they, they used to do overseas and all that stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. But uh, wow. I feel really sad about that, you know. Yeah. But I was telling somebody, God is God, yeah. Yeah. ain't it? We look on people's, we look on people's man. They they may be you know working doing a good work for God. But we look, God is God, yeah. and He run this kingdom, yeah. you know. We may not see why God. Why you let this happen? Why you let this happen? Why you know? But God runs His kingdom. I mean, oh, Elijah, 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 Elijah. You know, he fell sick, didn't he? And the Bible says he died. And they, they, just, they was in a war, and they just, he had buried him in this cave, and, and, and this soldier had got killed, and they threw him over in the grave. Having to throw in that cave where Elijah was buried at. And the Bible says what? He come back to life. Come back to life. I know Sister Matter, uh, Elijah told Elijah, Asked Elijah, listen, give me, what, what can I do for you? He said, give me a double portion of my spirit. Yeah, Elijah told him, said, you see me when I'm taking up, man. It's a hard thing, but you see me when I'm taking up. And man, Elijah, Elijah saw him when he was taking up, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. And then when he left, after, he, he said, I see you, man of God. And man, hey, here come that man comes. <laughs> yeah. Man, Elijah picked that man up. Yeah. And, uh. 
went back to Jordan and smoked that. Jordan said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? You know, Elijah, uh, uh, Elijah, that was his eighth miracle, sister, sister, when he went across Jordan and smoked that river and departed. He went on over there and where the, the horse of chariot caught him up. That was his eighth miracle. Thank God, say, the history say Elijah, thank God, uh, uh, that was Elijah's first miracle when he smoked that Jordan with that Elijah mount. But the Bible says Elijah did 16 miracles. Elijah did eight miracles. And Elijah did 16 miracles. Double, double, what do you have? Double portion. Give me a double portion of that spirit. A double portion of that spirit. Yeah. So he give us what? You know? Sister, sister Joan, if you got a little wheel bad food, hold fast that little wheel bad food. Man, some of your friends got a whole truck load of it. Don't you just use. Hold fast that little chair. Holy Father, thank you. Master of heaven, I love you. Help me to love you more than I do. Help me love you enough, Lord, that to satisfy you, that to please you. God, I mean, I know how to get to that place, but you got to help me get to that place. Because I honor you. I acknowledge you. Try to in all my ways. I still believe you, God Almighty. And I still believe nothing don't happen that you're not aware of it. You don't permit it to be. Thank you today, God, for giving us a mind. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I mind me. You say you would keep in perfect peace the mind that it stayed up on you. God, help our mind. I know sometimes our mind don't be up on you. But God, look like you keep us in peace and where you help us. You, you still let it help us. Thank you, Jesus. We got so much to be thankful for. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this service today. Thank you for these. and Thank you for your word. Let it be in our hearts. Help us to know who you are and accept you. Of who you are and what you are and what you is to us. And we give you praise for it, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Give him a hand and pray. We, we appreciate the Lord. <laughs> Thank God. Those you have an offering, we receive if you have an offering. At the end of the month, people, sometimes people don't have stuff. But we appreciate you. Appreciate my boys over there. You know, thank you. I thought he was going to be out of town, but he didn't know when he's supposed to leave. <laughs> That's not about right. Glad he's here, though. Listen, I thank God for you. Appreciate you. Thank God. God bless. God will bless you. Everything you do for God, it's gonna, He's gonna know it. The Bible says, therefore be steadfast, unmoved. And God, there's one thing about the brother also can't bless nobody. You can't bless no or oh, I may can give you a dollar here, a dollar there if you need it, but I'm talking about blessing folks. It's gonna take Jesus to bless folks. really a blessing. It's going to take Jesus. And God going to bless you for it. I thank God. I'm going to appreciate the service today. Appreciate this word. And I want to, I want to encourage you just to thank you. I want to encourage you just to hang in there. If you knew God and converted you and you never happened to trick you somewhere, you get right back up. If the devil knocked you down today, Get back up today. Don't wait and say, I'll, I'll wait until tomorrow. I get, no, Deb, you knocked me down today, but I'm getting back up today. You know? That's what you got to do. If you knocked it down today, you get back up today. I said, Devil, I'm still here. I'm still believing in Jesus. So you knocked me down, but I'm still believing in Jesus. I'm getting back up and I'm going on this old journey. Keep confessing Jesus. Point your hand. Father, thank you for this offering. We appreciate you. God, I'm trying to be a help. Trying to be a strength to the people. You, you told Peter, strengthen your brothers. God bless this offering that they give in Jesus' name. Um, and Lord, you know I pray as God bless the people that give. Bless them. Help them. Lord, don't let it be for now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, return it to the people a hundredfold. Multiply. In Jesus' name, that they 
given. We ask to be so. Praise God. Give him a hand and pray. We thank you. We're going we're gonna to be dismissed. Those of you can make the mile. Look for your mind. Look and wear your mask out there. Will you please? Because they said this stuff ain't no joke coming on. It says stronger than the first wave of that stuff. And now they think hitting kids. They said hitting a lot of kids. And so don't do like that gap in Tennessee. He may have faith in God, but he, 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 man, he putting it in the wrong way, the wrong place. You know, you, you know, and you don't tempt God. You know, you don't tempt God. Stand to your feet. We appreciate. We're gonna pray for you. That's God. Help your Father. Thank you. Those that are viewing, I pray God. Someone let this worry God. I'm not. I'm, I'm not anything for myself. But some kind of way, you let it just word of mouth. But I thank you for Sister Irene's daughter. I didn't was Colorado. She she tuned in. She be watching. God, maybe she can talk somebody out there and get them to tune in. Got got yeah, people in Mississippi that are watching. They call their grandkids and their son had them tuning in. God, thank you, Father. Lord, because I'm trying to speak stuff that'll help them. People are fighting stuff and we're. Sometimes we don't understand people going through battle. They, they mind and heart is to love you and it's cleave to you to be fighting such balance. God, give us something that will help them. To, you say he that endure it until the end. The same should be saved. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for those. Let it be a blessing to the people. In Jesus' name, God, let it spread out there. God, we ain't popular and famous, God, but just by word of mouth, or even maybe they think by accidentally they come across this and they may stop and listen to it. Father, thank you. Bless these, Lord, that are praying. And I appreciate the prayer for all the people that are praying for us. I know we got all the people praying for us, and I thank you for it. We need you. Said effective, fervent prayer. I thank you for every prayer that goes up, Lord, for me to help me. I thank you for them, Lord. You know, I'm just in church. I tend at home. Sometimes I'm thinking about it. God, thank you for the prayers of the people that are praying for the Lord. You know I tell you that. Because I believe that the prayers of the, of the children of God avail as much. Lord, every need they have today, Lord. Oh, God, bless that brother that contracted the, that virus. Helping me on a ventilator. God, in Jesus' name, I pray. I just went out when he told me. I just My heart just went out. God, help him, I pray. We need you, Jesus. Well, that's what I'm telling the people. Don't be, don't be foolish-minded, but don't risk displace that faith. That don't help us to do what we can do to try to help us stay safe. Every need out there, God, I agree with them today. Every unspoken request, every want to have a request that's, that be listened to this. I pray that you meet it. Be God to us. Be that deliverer that we read about in the Bible. I read yesterday, Lord, the miracle that you was doing there. If it all them miracles, you loosen the dumb people and you catch them demons out of them. Let us be like them pigs. Like them pigs, they refused to be possessed by the devil. They ran down there and drowned themselves. It's we better commit pig side than let the devil live in us. God. Help us, Lord. Help all of us. Give us that that we need, Jesus. We, if we don't realize we need help, help us anyway. In the name of Jesus, God, go with us today. Lord, give us safe passage back as we leave this place. Bind every devil out there and keep on the side of the road. In the name of Jesus, let our dwelling place be safe. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, praise God. Can see yourself dismissed. We appreciate everybody. Let's keep one another in prayer. We see you tomorrow. Believe that you can make it.